Hello students, welcome to the course Verilog HDL. In the previous video, or previous two videos, we tried to solve the exercises on data flow modeling. First, we have considered the full subtractor design, and second, we have considered the comparator, magnitude comparator design. And what we have common in both the exercises is, so you have given the Boolean expression straight away, okay? And from that, using the data flow operator, you have written the data flow description, okay? As an additional, I have told you the design also, okay? Fine, so what we have special in this exercise three is, so we don't have the Boolean expression given here. Instead, we have given the logic diagram, okay? So from the basic uh, electronics, you know that if any logic diagram is given, how you write a Boolean expression from that, okay? Or straight away, you can write a data flow operator, okay? Such an exercise we are doing here. For that, we are considering a four bit synchronous counter here okay so what is meant by synchronous so it will uh, change the count value 0 1 2 3 up to 15 according to the clock changes okay it is synchronous with the clock so first we'll note down the question a synchronous counter can be designed by using master save jk play flops okay so we have specifically designed earlier we have seen uh, in the example okay ripple carry counter we have designed using a negative edge trigger, deep flip flops, clear? So same way, so now we'll try to design this synchronous counter using master slave JK flip flops. So design a four bit synchronous counter, circuit diagram for the synchronous counter and the JK flip flop are given below. So both the circuit diagrams are given. The clear signal is active low, okay? Uh, data gets latched on the positive edge of the clack and the output of the flip flop appears on the negative edge of the clock. Counting is disabled when count enable signal is low. Write the data flow description for the synchronous counter. Write a stimulus file that exercises clear and count enable. Display the output count. So these are all the requirements they have given. So master slave JK flip flop. So in that whatever signals we have clear and count enable. Okay, so they have made low, that means zero. So then counter will act. Okay, if it is one means counter will be reset. Okay. So that you need to exercise using finally a stimulus file. Okay. So this is the question. So now we'll look at the two diagrams. One is synchronous counter diagram and then master slave JK flip flop diagram. Okay. So both are necessary to uh, build the uh, program. Okay. So note down the figures. So four bit synchronous counter with clear and count enable. Okay. So. So C is a master slave JK flip flop, C here, okay? So you have the clear signal given to all the four JK flip flops and clock is given to all the four JK flip flops. So clock is given, that's why it is synchronous. Previous case we had ripple, right? Only for first flip flop we have given clock, then it will be based on output of that will be given as clock, right? In the case of ripple carry counter, that is an asynchronous one, okay? So this is a synchronous, clock is also given. Then count enable, so this is the design, okay? So how it came, you can search in any logic design book, okay? So that is not my point of interest here, okay? So you can refer any design, okay? So synchronous counter with clear and count enable or using master slave JK flip flop, just browse it so you'll get this design, okay? So we have done this already in logic design, that's why I'm not taking it, okay? So it is left to you, okay? So this is the AND gate. So here count enable and the Q of one is AND end for the next J and K inputs. First J and A, it is count enable only given. Next, the output of that and the Q of two output is ended with, and that we given to J, K. And then the output and the Q of three will be given as J and K inputs, okay? So this is the format, the things are given here, okay? Fine. Similarly, we'll see the master slave JK flip-flop design now. That is also necessary. So now this is the counter, upper one. So here four master slave JK flip flops are there and three AND gates are there. This is the first program. So now you will be writing this program. So now you have to implement this at the gate level, right? So that diagram also given. So just you need to write the expression for that. Okay, fine. So that diagram also note down. So this is the master slave JK flip flop using only NAND gates. This is the design. So you have the J and K clear clock. Okay, whatever you had master slave JK flip flop that only you will have here. Q and Q bar, Q bar is not used there. Okay, Q is only used to see the output. So this A, so first 
NAND gate. Okay, so you have to see one by one. You have to write expression here. Okay, so expression means A. So this is written A here. B is Y Y bar C D and finally Q Q bar. So you have four set. Okay, and this is one NOT gate. So how you have to write in terms of data expression now? A equal to this is a NAND gate, right? Not of this output, which is Q bar. Okay, so Q bar and J and clock and clear. So there are four inputs are there. So it will come in the expression. Okay. So next expression you have B equal to the clock and then you have Q and then you have K. Okay. So this is the same way you need to write all the expressions and that is nothing but your data flow description. Okay, so hope it is clear. So this you do exercise. So just I will show you the program for you. Okay, so this is the first program. Okay, answer I am writing. Okay, no much explanation about design here. Okay, module, module name, count I have given. Okay, so what you have there module. Okay, clear, clock, count enable and the queue. So these are the three inputs and one is output queue. Okay, output is four bit counter. That's why three is to zero Q. Input all scalar. So clear clock and count enable. Okay. So then we have used there three AND gates, right? In the first figure. Okay. So output of that I called it as C1, C2, and C3. Okay. So then I have to write the assign statement for first three AND gates here. So assign C1 equal to. So just see the diagram there. It is coming from Q of zero, and then count enable. That is the input. Okay, next clock uh, that is next carry or output of AND gate. You have Q of one and C one. That this output, right? C one output and Q of one. Next for C three, you had Q of two and this output C two. Okay, that is ended. So just like expression, we have written the gate level diagram. Understanding now? Okay. So then you have four JK flip flops. So that we have to call with different inputs and output combination. Okay, every time the C1, C2, C3, these are changing, which is feeding to J and K, right? So that's why it will change. So MS underscore JK. This is the module name for master slave JK flip flop we have given, and these are the instance names. So first JK flip flop you see there, what you had there as input. So you have count enable, then count enable as JK. So these are the two inputs to the JK. In the same order, it will be written in MS JK. program then you have clear then you have clock and then you have the output q of 0 and comma is written why because q bar is there okay so in this one q bar is there but which is unconnected port okay that's why just comma we have kept space understanding it is an unconnected port clear then ms jk jk1 okay so what you had there c1 c1 is given as j and k Then similarly, clear is common, clock is common, output is changing now. Q of one, okay, this comma. That means Q of one bar. MS JK next instance is JK two, C two now, okay, as JK inputs, and then clear clock common, okay, and Q of two is the output, and this is unconnected. Next finally MS JK JK three is the instance name, C three is the J and K inputs, clear clock common inputs, and then Q of three is the output okay so simple if logic diagram will give or assign uh, boolean expression is given you can write the assign statement simple okay fine so here we have done the assign statement whereas what we have done here is not assign which is a instantiation of ports okay so ms jk we have called so this ms jk we need to write the program clear Okay, so don't confuse. Okay, in this also you need to write. But yes, we are doing this internally. They are written as assigned statement. Okay, that we are doing in next program. Next module we will write as MS JK. See here, module MS underscore same name you have to give and the same way you have to write first J and K, and then clear clock common inputs and then Q output and then Q bar output. Okay, so this is unconnected. We have shown there, so that should be there here. Okay, so output Q Q bar, input is J K clock clear. Okay, so we are showing here. Then wire. Okay, so there are some intermediate in the NAND gate implementation. I have shown you. Okay, so that I am written here A B Y Y bar C D and uh, one NOT gate we have used. That is C bar. Okay, so this many I have used that I declare it as wire. 
then i will write the assign statement number of assign statement instead that comma is used so first c bar is not of clock okay simple one variable then a a i have told you there are four inputs were there so q bar and j and clock and clear okay so not of that being nand gate okay not of if you write and it is nand gate okay then comma b equal to not of clock and k and q then y equal to not of a and y bar y bar equal to not of y and clear and b just refer that diagram there okay c equal to not of y and c bar d equal to not of c bar and y bar just where they are connected with the signals that you have to write then q equal to not of c and q bar and q bar is equal to not of q and clear and d so this is the implementation of the master slave jk flip flop using basic or uh, nand gates universal gates and that only we have written as an expression here okay so so far whatever we have done so you have, i hope you have understood this part okay if you have any doubts you can come and ask me in the college okay fine so now we have to exercise the inputs okay stimulus module so that's why we have to write the stimulus module next so this is the stimulus module so module module name is test okay then register clock clear and countable these are the inputs so that's why register is used and output is wire declared okay four bit output count okay so it is a four bit counter means what it will count from 0000 to 1111 okay so by default we will be considered up counter so it will count okay in between if you exercise this clear or countable so it may reset okay so that's what we have to check so initial statement is written next monitor time count value okay q equal to what and then clear count these two we have to exercise and we have to check the output here okay so that is what asked in the question then we have calling the design so main design the first program we have written count right its instance name m1 and accordingly clear clock and count enable these are the inputs and then the outputs okay so once we have written this so first part is declaring the variables then monitor statement okay and then the instantiation of the design so in the stimulus module i have called the main design now we have to exercise on the clear and count enable okay so i have written multiple initial blocks here so first initial block i will first give at zero time instant zero okay clear is zero and then at 50 okay 50 time minutes i have made clear equal to 1 bit 1 okay this timings is very important that you can see in waveform okay so i have shown waveform here as a model sim output so these are comments here okay not necessary okay if even you can exercise this practice this that is the thing okay at 200 again made zero and again it made one okay so this is an additional one second time you can do second initial block what i have done clock i have generated clock generation this is the standard block okay initially clock is made zero and this is the forever this is a behavioral building block we will be learning it in next module okay forever keyword so forever means every 5 time minutes so clock will be not of clock that means 10 is the total time so initially zero at 5 it will be up one for five time again it will be zero like this okay so this is five this is zero this is 10 time minutes so this is the one cycle right one cycle it is called as the 10 and this is a 5 by 10 that's why it is a 50% duty cycle clock cycle okay so this will repeat when you give forever so this clock signal will be generated repeatedly it any form up and down fine okay next initial count enable so here clear is exercised with the delay now we are exercising count enable so count enable is made one at the zero time minutes okay so if you make it zero so it will function irregularly right so that's why only one we have considered and clear we have changed at 50 okay so for this combination we will check the output now okay so exam you know not to remember like this only okay so if you have understood the logic so just to show the combination you can do it okay and finally we have finished it okay initial begin dollar 500 finish that means at 500 time minutes the complete program simulation will end so this also i have shown you in previous if you write it in that same block it will add up zero plus like that if you write separately it is zero plus 500 like that it will be finally end one okay 
so hope you note down this pause the video and note down okay i will show you the final output for you okay so earlier we used to write that right so now since it's a counter so it is better to show in wave form so that's why uh, this is shown here so how to look at here okay so see here okay it may be 10 minutes 10 20 30 40 50 right at 50 what you have made clear equal to 1 you have made okay so when clear is exercise low so then counter is zero that's what we have told in program that's why counter was zero here till here okay so it is four bit okay so it is a concise form it will look like this okay so it is one means 0001 if you expand this it will come 0001 q of 3 q of 2 q of 1 q of 0 in short it will be written as q here okay which will show you the decimal equivalent of that number okay so every positive edge of the clock they have told the clock will okay so give the answer so this is a delay here okay so where it is 1 and where it is becoming 1 so there is a delay so it will start counting 1 0001 0010 okay 0011100100101010 okay like that up to 15 like that it will continue zero after 15 again it will start 0 1 2 3 4 5 because we have made count enable one year throughout okay and this we have exercise somewhere at the 250 right so just we have shown at 50 and it is stopped right comments have made now we would remove that comments part so now you can see a different wave form okay so this is the idea of a synchronous counter okay so hope it is understood okay so with this we completed this unit uh, data flow modeling okay so the major thing we have learned is various operator types here okay and then uh, some of the designs we have seen carry look ahead adder and ripple carry counter we have seen and in exercise also we have learned some new designs okay so with this uh, your knowledge of verilog is improving i hope okay next okay in the next video we started with the new module as a new unit also that is the third level of description you have seen so far gate level data flow now so now we'll see the top level description for very log that is the behavioral description so with that knowledge so you are able to now begin the laboratory part also so once i start up that uh, in that so i will start the programming lab programs also i will start explaining okay okay so go through this complete module so i think uh, 10 to 11 videos i have made in this unit itself that's what i told you very first so first two modules are very simple i will take less time but still i have taken that and then these require more because we need to solve much examples exercises so that you will understand the programming part that's why uh, module 3 took much larger time almost one month time it took right fine okay so we'll meet in the Uh, next video with a new module a new unit okay a new level of type of description in verilog okay thank you